Hi everyone, so there is a new beta bootloader for the Raspberry Pi and basically it has kind of like this internet recovery thing where you can install an operating system without another computer and without having an operating system pre-installed. So this is currently a feature that's in testing but I wanted to show you that today. So if you want to try this out, all you will need is a micro SD card of really any size that will generally work with a Pi and your Pi and just the normal things. So let's get right to it. So first of all, if you boot up a Raspberry Pi right now with the current bootloader, it gives you this message right here, if it does not have a micro SD card with an operating system. So the message will be different in the new bootloader. So currently you do need another computer to install the bootloader or you need to have an operating system on your Pi. I'm going to use another computer. but. You can do it on your Pi 2 as long as you have a USB you know, adapter and a micro SD card. So you can go to Raspberry Pi Imager, choose OS, and you can do miscellaneous utility images, beta test bootloader, and then SD card boot is the default one. This is just basically setting the preferred device. So if you generally boot off an SD card, you want to use this one. Then choose storage, you do your micro SD card, this will be wiped. You do write, you click yes and you enter your password. Now this will write very very fast because it's a very small file. And then it verifies like that. Okay, now it's done, so you remove the micro SD card. Now I'm just going to turn off the Pi right here, so let's pull up QuickTime. That Pi is off now and I insert the micro SD card and turn on the Pi. And this will flash the new bootloader. So you just want to wait until the screen turns green and then you can just unplug the Pi. Okay, so now you remove the micro SD card and now it has the new bootloader on it. So I'm just going to plug it in right here. And when it boots up now, we get this. So this is not exactly what I was expecting, but let's see what happens if we do enter. So let me switch the keyboard and mouse input. Oh, right here. I guess we just had to switch the keyboard and mouse to the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so now what we want to do, if we want to install an operating system, I don't have any storage device in here right now. So you do a long press of the shift key and then you want to do space and so then we need an ethernet cable okay so you do have to have an ethernet connection in order to do this so if we want to go back to that other screen we want to press escape and then you press enter to get back here so this is basically just installing raspberry pi imager into ram the program that we just used except now we're going to use it to install an operating system to the micro sd card instead of a bootloader. It's going really slow for some reason. It's not that big of a file, but it's taking a long time. Okay, so it's almost done right here. Once it's done, it will load into Raspberry Pi Imager. It's not exactly a reboot because it doesn't clear RAM. Here we go. So now what you want to do is insert the micro SD card. I have these plugged into the computer, so I think it's having a power shortage. I'm just going to unplug my webcam. Okay, so now we can do choose OS and we have all the usual options right here. So we can do just the regular Raspberry Pi OS or any of the others. So we just have, I guess this is the other Raspberry Pi OS versions, the legacy. And this is the new version, or I guess this one is the main one. If you have not checked this out, I definitely recommend it. It's a lot faster. Now, if we go back, we can do other general purpose OS. We have Ubuntu, Manjaro, just everything that's normally in Raspberry Pi Imager. 
full page OS. I've never checked that out. We have the media players. So we can do Raspberry Pi OS, but I think I'm going to do something else. Manjaro ARM XFCE. I don't think I've done that one before. Let me just try that. Choose storage. So I have the micro SD card inserted. So I'm just going to choose that. And you do need to leave the Ethernet cable in for this. You click right and you click yes. All right, it's writing now. We will be back later. So when it is done, it just boots into the operating system. Unfortunately, this is not working properly. And I think it's because I shut it down. I disconnected the POI and I connected it to a different power supply because this one was insufficient. But anyway, this, this has a problem, but that's not due to the new method. Okay, whatever. I'll, I'll figure that out later. But this does work well the new setup so this is an operating system maybe i should check these out sometime anyway let's take a look more at the bootloader stuff all right so i'm just going to pull up the blog because raspberry pi wrote a blog about this so it just talks about how this works and everything installing the new beta bootloader and you can do that now by the way if you want to go back to the regular one, you just do the regular bootloader instead of beta test bootloader. So it basically just goes through this and there's not much else right here that I didn't talk about. So basically all Pi should be shipped with this very soon. So I'm not sure, you know, when this is going to get into the stable release. But, you know, if you buy a Pi soon, it should come with this feature. So this is very similar to the internet recovery on Mac OS, where you can basically reinstall the operating system without having an operating system to, you know, flash an installer with. So that is about it for this video. And if you liked it, make sure you leave a like. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Until next time, it's Fortnite QE from Super User Project Dial.